Yes, lads, welcome back to the Tottenham Green Mode. I know it's been two weeks since the last episode, which was the start of season two, and I can't believe it's actually been that long. It hasn't felt that long. But as you can see, we're kicking off the episode with a game against Arsenal in the Cup. We always lose at the Emirates. I think we played there two times last season, and we lost both of them. So hopefully we can turn it around this year and finally get a win here. Also, I want to win a trophy this year, obviously. We lost to them in the FA Cup final as well. So, yeah, if we can go through here today, I don't care if it's the Carabao Cup. It, trophy is a trophy. Jesus now. He could be through on goal. Big save from David Raya to deny him. All right, a Deutsch now. Cuts in on his right foot. Gets a shaft and it just goes wide of the post. They could have a chance. Smith Rowe into Gabriel Jesus, into Vieira. Saka with the shot, but it's hit the side net in. Oh my God, what has Raya done? I've passed it straight to Jesus and he's punished us to make it 1-0 to Arsenal. For God's sake, why did I press A there? I could have just hoofed it. And we are 1-0 down, looking to get back into it. Jonathan David into James Madison. Madison gets his shot off, but that's a good save. And we go into half-time, 1-0 down. It's not been a bad performance, just one mistake from our keeper to give the ball straight to Jesus for him to score. Very annoying. Hopefully, in the second half, we can get back into this game and win it. I really don't want to be going to extra time or getting knocked out in literally the first round. Kulazewski might have actually spun Kieran Tierney and he's got past him, I think. He is through. Kulazewski is driving through the middle. Can he get a shot off? Yes, he can. And he's scored literally from kickoff. What a solo goal that is from the Swedish winger to make it 1 1. Smith Rowe on the ball. Into Odegaard. We don't want him shooting. Into Jesus. Back into Odegaard. Odegaard gets his shot off. And that is a finish and a half from the Norwegian to make it 2-1. I mean, I literally said we don't want him shooting. He takes his shot. Sticks it in the top corner. All right. Madison on the ball. Into Kulu. Can he get another goal here? Kulusevski through on goal. Gets a shot off. Gets his second of the game. Go and get that ball, son. 15 minutes to go. We need one goal. Come on. Last minute here, Arsenal have an attack. We do not want to concede. Odegaard squares it to Lo Celso. Imagine if the former Tottenham man scored against us. I can't lie, I don't remember selling him to Arsenal. I felt like we sold him to someone else and he just joined them last summer. But we do not want to concede off this corner. Winners, well up. Maybe we can start a counter. Son was through. He, flick, he literally flicks that past the defender and he was through on goal and the rest blew the whistle. That is disgusting. I guess it's penalties. Can Raya step up and save Jorginho's penalty? No, he can't. 1-0 to Arsenal. Jonathan David's turn now. Surely David doesn't miss. Straight in that top right from Jonathan David to make it 1-1. Saka now. Can he score? Raya with a big save. Come on. Puts us in the driving seat. Can James Madison score? No, he can't. He's put it straight down the middle. Gabriel Jesus steps up. Oh, that is cheeky from the Brazilian. Can Son score? He missed a few pens in this series so far. Please, Son scores. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Lo Celso, the former Tottenham man, steps up. What a save from David Raya. If we score, we go ahead. Pedro Porro, come on, 3-2. If we save it, we win. Who's stepping up? Emil Smith Rowe. Can Raya step up and save? Yes, he can. And he sends Tottenham Hotspur through. And we finally beat Arsenal at the Emirates. We've got vengeance for the FA Cup final and the games in last season as well, where we lost to them because we played them quite a few times. After that big penalty shootout win against Arsenal, we've got Manchester City. And I can't lie, I'm not very worried for this game against Man City. We seem to always smash them. And like, I'm pretty sure last season we beat them 4 2 and 5 1. So. I'm pretty confident going into this, but obviously it's not really nice to go to the Etihad and have to play against them. Why the hell does Harlan look so weird? I know he's a funny looking fella in real life, but in that he looked even weirder. He could actually have a chance here. Big save from Raya. Son on the ball. David's made that run and he's played it into him. David has gone through the Manchester City defence. Can Jonathan David score? Yes, he can. To make it 1-0 to Tottenham Hotspur here at the Etihad Stadium. Come on. Right, Kulu on the ball. Using his pace to get past Ruben Diaz. Can he finish it? No, he can't. He hits the bar. What a goal that would have been from Kulusevski. He's been on fire recently, to be fair. Son on the ball, cuts in, into Bentancur, 
Benton Curl holds it up, plays it in to Jonathan David. Can he get his shot off? Jonathan David gets his second of the game to make it 2 0 here at the Etihad. Don't know why we skipped the celebration, but yeah, huge W. Now Son could get a chance. Son gets his shot off. That is a decent save. We go into half time, 2 0 up here at the Etihad Stadium. We're dominating them. Ah, so my camera might have cut. We beat Man City 4-0 though. And it didn't record our Champions League game against Monaco, which is very annoying. So we did get two wins there in the league and in the cup. But I'm going to go ahead and sim two games against Brentford and Brighton so we can get into our Champions League game, which was meant to be Monaco at the start of this episode. But it's going to have to be Sevilla instead now because the camera never got it. But we drew against Brentford. Can we beat Brighton away from home at the Amex? Yes, we can. A 3-0 victory at the Amex Stadium. Not not really an easy place to go at the moment, so that is a good win. Right then, Sevilla in the UCL. Us and Sevilla, top two teams in this group stage. We've got Monaco, Sevilla and Young Boys. We've already played a few games off camera because, honestly, they weren't worth being put in a video because they were pretty poor, I'm not going to lie. And we kicked the game off with an early chance from Benton Core, but it just goes wide. Now they could have a chance here. Eric Lamella, the former Tottenham man, squares it to Gomez, who does score to make it 1-0 to Sevilla. We've gone 1-0 down. And these are top of the group as well. I think we need to win today to qualify. I'm pretty sure they've already qualified. But yeah. So tough one to take if we don't win. Jonathan David gets his shot off. It's a good goal from the Canadian. Outside of the boot to make it 1-1. This is ours for the taking. Van der Ven on the ball here. Into Romero. Romero into David. Takes a touch. Gets the shot off. And he's rattled it off the bar. It stays 1-1. David again here. Gets past Fernando, gets his shot off. That's a good save. Kulazewski driving through and have accidentally pressed Y. No. Right, 87th minute here. We do not want to be conceding. Big save from Raya. Huge block from Bentancourt. Can we start a counter-attack here? James Madison in to David. Hopefully holds the ball up. Son's there. Can Son put the burners on for the last minute? Gets past Calabria. Yuming Son, can he score here in the 92nd minute? Finesses it and that's a big save from the Sevilla goalkeeper to keep it level and get the points here for Sevilla. And that is one point for us. We, I'm pretty sure we should stay in the Euro in a second place we'll have to have a look though we do stay in second place i think we're already through mathematically but i ain't gonna bother counting it up because i can't be bothered to be honest with you so we've got young boys in our last game in december so let's just go ahead and win that in the next episode but that's where i'm gonna end this one so if you enjoyed make sure you like and you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one also i'm gonna try and get this series done in the next week so we can start the next one which i already have planned all right peace